Hello, queens and kings. Jocelyn Haley here. I have a quick project share that I would like to uh, show you today. All right. It is, I'm telling you, to save your cereal bag liners because this is, uh, I'm going to show you some examples of what you can do with them. This is crafted from a cereal box liner. I will come up closer. I stitched by hand the bottom closed and I applied a vintage fabric here on one side with Mod Podge as the backing. I did not Mod Podge the front. I used some gauze pieces here and a scrapbooking uh, from uh, paper from Bow Bunny. And then I used a vintage lace embroidery piece here at the bottom. I also made a flap using uh, the Bow Bunny scrapbooking paper and more of the gauze at the top. And then the vintage fabric on the back of the flap. And one of my yo-yos crafted during the shutdown. You recall, I told you I was crafting a lot of these. I then used a, um, let's see, there's a Bow Bunny scrapbooking paper underneath this butterfly image that I have applied a bridal netting, a stiff bridal netting on top of that. And this is the back of the cereal liner. And inside I just placed two tags, one with the netting over it of the Tim Holtz butterfly, a vintage fabric background. And this one just has the uh, vintage fabric, Waverly uh, fabric, and a Tim Holtz butterfly. And these are the backs. And I just simply place those inside the cereal bag. Looks like I might have to glue this one back down again. But that is one example of crafting with the cereal bag liner. All right, then I did another. This one is, I should have held this other one to the side. Let me see, I hold it to the side because I don't know how this is going to film. And the back. All right, the next one I did, and these are handy to put in for Happy Mail or whatever. This one is the cereal box liner again. And I have decoupaged a kitten napkin onto the front of the uh, cereal liner bag. I've clustered three yo-yos here at the corner and a piece of a uh, snippet of vintage uh, doily here. There is a sequin trim in yellow that was in a, a scrap bag from Vanessa Angel Rose and also the aqua polka dot nylon trim on the bottom. Sorry, I was out of frame. On the bottom uh, of the bag and I will turn it to the side there's a flap and I use the same trim at the top of the flap. And then I used a piece of uh, embroidery lace here at the top of the envelope. And maybe you can see the, the kitten image here. It's uh, got a stripe on the napkin, so it's a little difficult to see. And I had applied some AB stones on the kitten's crown. 
And inside, I just, here you can see a better image of the kitten. A tag, corners are rounded. Again, I place the AB crystals on the kitten's crown. That is the back onto a 110 pound weight cardstock. This is the cereal liner. This is the back. All right, that is that one. So don't throw away the cereal liners. You can use them. Of course, you can make your paper clip for the top to close it. Then I have another example. This is a black girl. It is a photo that I had purchased from someone on, um, I believe it was Etsy. I don't remember her name, but I purchased it over a year ago. And uh, so I used it on, I decoupaged the back of the cereal liner bag and placed her on here. I added a fabric flower to her hair and an AB stone on her headband. And then I cut a triangle piece of scrapbooking paper and put that there. It's already a mixed media art piece. And I just added a few things like the uh, die cut Tim Holtz butterfly at the bottom. And of course at the top, I have a small flap and a yo-yo, a gimp trim from Juana Hudson there. And the quote says, she knew she was loved. And it is a beautiful um, image from the person I purchased from on Etsy. I just don't remember the name. Uh, and then I used some pieces of the uh, napkin here and here and uh, underneath there's some newspaper puzzle wording and then I put a fabric flower here and uh, as mentioned I could have made some paper clips uh, to include on the closure but I haven't done that but before I send to someone with Happy Mail, I probably will uh, place some paper clips at the top to hold it close. Here you can, here is a small paper clip for the um, yo-yo. And uh, here you can see the paper that I use with the puzzle. And this is the cereal bag on the inside. This is the back where I crafted the flap. And you can see the newspaper that the puzzle was taken from on the back. Now I could go ahead and put a piece of scrapbooking paper on that to cover if I would choose to, or it is ready to be glued down in a large um, journal if I would choose to do so. And there is uh, black lace running across the bottom. Do hope you're seeing this. And then I have one other, the last one, using the cereal box liner, is this one. Image taken from, um, I believe it was, I don't know, I think it was Etsy or either I purchased that image from someone. I, I can't remember. I've had it a long time. Uh, I believe it is one of Ruby Little Book's favorite images. Uh, so it was just a coincidence that I love this image also. At any rate, I used a dark forest green satin and lace trim at the bottom and on this side. And then I have a Tim Holtz butterfly here in the corner. There's a vintage 
uh, paper here at the top. At the bottom, there is a yo-yo with a lime green with a double yo-yo feature uh, and a lime green dragonfly. So that is this one. You'll be able to get a lot in this bag because it is a large cereal liner bag. And here you can see where I hand stitched the bottom. I will probably go and maybe put something over that if I decide to use it for a uh, gift bag. If not, it can be glued down as is to the back of a large journal page. I'll come up closer so you can see the beautiful image of the lovely girl. Uh, I don't know her name. I believe Little Book said she was an actress. I'm not sure. But um, that is all. These are all crafted from using your cereal liner bags. So go ahead and save those. They can be repurposed into Happy Mail gift bags or journaling uh, bags to put in your journal. So that is what I have for today. I will be back later on in the week, maybe tomorrow, with another uh, quick project share. So thank you everyone for watching. Take care. Happy trails. We'll meet again soon. Goodbye.